Ah. We made our way down the hallway and at the end waiting for us. Freaky chair. Hey, looks like the gang's all here. Nothing's What's up? up? We left our room, headed left. And ended up here. Sigma, let me see that map you found earlier. Oh, right. Wait. I think this will be the first time Dio doesn't get fucking six points at the start of the game. It's fair with Timmy Oji who will Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> like a jerk. Actually, Timmy Oji allied once. Nope, Timmy Oji. I'll shut up. Oh. No matter which door we took, all of them led back here. That's the same as the map we found in the lounge. A lounge? Oh, we found something like that too. Our room was an infirmary. That's so. We found ours in the crew quarters. Huh. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Yes, yeah, all nine of us just pile into this absolutely way too tiny for all nine of us elevator. <laughs> It'll be fine. Especially when elevators typically have like a 500 pound limit. <laughs> That's just K. In a massive full body scoop. If each of the people are average weight, only five of us could go in an elevator at a time. <laughs> oh, this is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. Uh -huh. The one in the middle is blue. Uh-huh. And the one on the right is red. Right. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Oh my god. Lock, huh? <laughs> yeah, won't budge. Yeah, just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh, no, I'm fine, but it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh, yeah, the time left. Looks like two hours. Six minutes. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. You telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? No. Looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Clover, how about you show them that note we found? Okay, uh, hold on. Huh? Was it something about supplementary rules? Because we found a note just like that. It was in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in the safe in the crew quarters. No, we're not doing this again. <sighs> yeah, we Please. Are. I hate you so much. There are some more rules for you. Once you have opened the door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you've opened them, even the eye carrot stop keep you from going in and out of them. Any color of bracelet can go through them, and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle, puzzle beyond, it won't let you go back until you solve the puzzle. That's I'm true. Number seven. <laughs> we, can all, we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key. We found some too. That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Uh, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. <laughs> Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? Please stay. 
All right, fine. I'm going. Ah. Uh. Quarters, huh? Just as the note said, we had no trouble getting in here. That means we can go to the infirmary or the lounge? Yeah, we can check out any of them. Hey, look, Grandpa! They got a poster of a lady in here! It looks like the ones you got back home! Hmm. <laughs> this one's pretty hot. I think we're talking at least 14, maybe even 15 EU. Agreed. I sure would like to take it home with me. Unfortunately, I don't think this is really the time for that. Let's keep moving. Whoa, hold on. Grandpa? Since when were they buddies? Or had they always been that close? In other words, they'd known each other before the notary game. If his quirk was crawling Tin Miyoji Grandpa, then maybe they're even related. Alice and Clover seem to be close too. Just how many of these people knew each other already? Let's go, buddy. I can't wait to get out of here and back to my, uh, grandpa videos. Oh, you mean the ones you keep in the locked cabinet? The, the, shh, you're being too loud, Quark. You have to say these things quietly. We are moving locations. Locations have been moved. <laughs> One fucking door. And myself each gave one card to Alice Luna and Tin Miyoji. Headed into the AB room. Is Dio sided with Tin Miyoji? Everybody else has gone in already. Dio's with K. You push that in too. Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure Dio's with K. We can ally with Alice, but then she'll betray us. That is her vibe, open. exactly. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game I think she's always chosen an ally the first time. I think. What? Mostly because she was going against Clover. This game's got a time limit, too. Wait. Something wrong? No, nothing. I just... There's no one here. What are you talking about? Of course there isn't anyone here. Well, yeah, I, I know that. I, I just... Let's get inside. Oh. Yeah. Right. Oh, that oh. is? There's no one here. There's no one here. There's no one here. This looks oh. They haven't the moved yet. Up in. Yeah. It's one thing that's different. That screen. Yep. I think there's something on it. Usually it's before the first Amidex games. Shit! What the hell are you doing, you idiot? But I pressed button. Did you even read what it said? No. Once you press that button, it locks the door for 40 minutes. Now thanks to your stupid ass, we're stuck in here for almost an hour. Ah, uh, really? Yes, really. Ugh. Hey, hey, hey! Looks like everybody's closed their AB gates. <laughs> AB gate? That's the door to the AB room, silly. You're in the AB room right now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be continuing my earlier explanation. Now, let's get this. 
For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with a lass and went through the Siam door, didn't they? Yeah. That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against a lass. And it goes the other way, too. A lass's opponent will be Siggy oh, no, and Fido. Oh, no, it's Luna. Obviously, Damn it. that means Potassium and Clevo's enemy will be Tamioli. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be Mooney. <laughs> well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen Well. Okay then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Well, actually, <laughs> there's a little bit more, but it'll just have to wait, I guess. What? Why does it have to wait? Hush now. It'll be okay. No, it won't. Tell me why. 30 minutes remain until Abidex game polling closes. Why are you like this tiny me. rabbit thing? I've got to hop along now. Don't do something harebrained and wait until the last minute. You've got plenty of time, so think it out. Bye bye now. Have a nice trust. Man. What are we gonna do? About the AB game? Yeah. Did we choose Ally or Betray? Yeah, it's a tough call. This is really kind of an interesting game. Seems like it's based on the prisoner's dilemma. What's that? You've never heard of it? It's a thought experiment that uses game theory to examine why people do or don't cooperate. Let's say Apple and Banana have committed a serious crime. Apple and Banana. I just gave them the first names I thought of. All right. They don't mean anything? Sure. Anyway, They're Apple AB. and Banana are caught by the police and sent off to separate cells far away from one another. In other words, there's no way for them to contact each other. And they're not like telepaths or something. So that's the setup. You following me? Yeah, keep going. So a detective shows up. He visits each cell and tells them both exactly the same thing. It goes something like this. You can both clam up if that's what you want. We're gonna have to put you both in the slammer for two years if you do. Now if you flip on your pal over there, tell me everything. I can get your sentence reduced to one year. That means your buddy will serve 15, but <laughs> that ain't your problem, right? Of course, if he decides to spill the beans, it goes the other way. He gets one year, and you get to spend 15 years eating government cheese. You're probably wondering if both of you confess. Well, I can shave off a little time for saving me trouble, but you'll still both do 10 years. So, punk, what's it gonna be? You gonna give me what I want, or you gonna keep that trap shut? Of course, I told your partner the same thing I just told you. I wonder if you can trust him to keep the cat in the bag. No rush. Give you plenty of time to think about it. Ah, oh, you're an amazing voice actress. What the fuck was that? How did that voice come out of your mouth? So, the, so that's the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah. What would it's you a do? robot. Say you were in apple or banana shoes. Well, if my erstwhile criminal associate Banana is going to keep his mouth shut, then the best choice for me is to spill the beans. That way, I only serve one year. But what if he confesses too? The smart thing would be for me to do the same. After all, he cuts a deal and I don't, then I'll spend 15 years in prison. If I confess, I can save shave five years off of that. And it seems like the best choice is always going to be confess. Interesting. But you're forgetting something important. Which is? That Banana will be thinking the same thing. So you'll both confess, and you'll both end up serving ten years. Do you get it? If you both trusted each other, then neither of you would have served more than two years. But because you both made the decision based on your own self-interest, you're going to spend eight more years in prison. In other words, the logical decision leads not only to a less desirable outcome on the group level, but also a pretty shitty situation on the personal level, too. You see now? The A-B game is the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah, they're pretty much the same thing. If we trust Alice, we can both increase our BP by two. But if we don't trust each other, in the long run, it won't benefit either of us. Hmm. 
Yeah, but this is where it gets interesting. Let's say for a moment all nine of us are on one team. Who would we be playing against? Zero, of course. Right. So we can assume the nine of us are fighting Zero in the AB game. If you look at it that way, what would we want to do to beat him? <sighs> Just look at the point totals. Say we all picked Ally. What would our total points be? Uh, two times nine is eighteen, so... Eighteen points? Okay. Now let's say one of the pairs chooses Betray. Very pick Betray will get three points each, so in total they'll have six points. But the solo they betrayed will have two points subtracted, so... The total gain for that game would only be four points. The other two groups choose Ally for that round, right? Yeah. And for the other teams, you'll get 6 each, which will give you 2 times 6 is 12, plus 4, 16 total. So, what does that tell you? If we consider all 9 of us to be on the same team, we need to all always choose ally to get the most points. If even one person chooses Betray, the total points we get goes down. Exactly. In this game, if each individual acts for the benefit of the whole group, everyone benefits. But... If everyone starts looking out for themselves, it'll impact the group negatively. And eventually, it'll impact them negatively too. If all of us choose Betray, then the group gets zero points. Ultimately, nobody benefits. Not even the individual. In other words, selfish but logical decisions hurt everyone. And they hurt you. Okay, I think I get it. What you're saying is that I should pick Ally. No, I mean the opposite. What? If you're going to make the most logical choice here, the only option is Betray. Why? You just explained why that was a terrible idea. No, I didn't. It's not the prisoner's solution. It's the prisoner's dilemma. Even though there's an outcome where everybody's happy, the choice you'd have to make for that outcome isn't the rational one. You want to pick it, but you can't. A dilemma. If we choose Ally, and Alice does too, then yes, it'll be great. All three of us will get two points. That would be ideal, obviously. And it would help everybody. But... What if Alice chooses Betray? RPP will go down to one. Right. And if that happens, we're screwed. So... 20 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Unless we can be certain that Alice will choose Ally, we don't have a choice. We have to choose Betray. Unfortunately, we don't have any way to know that for certain. That means we have to make the rational choice. It would be great to make the right choice. But we can't. I mean, if you knew all this shit earlier, why didn't you tell everybody that? Because everybody ran inside and got locked in their tiny rooms. Hey. Did you just say we're screwed? If you don't mind telling me, what do you mean by that? I'm guessing something happens if our BB hits zero, right? I mean, the way you said it, it sure makes it seem like something's gonna happen. You know something? You do know something. What are you hiding? Yeah, you know there's been something weird about you from the moment we met. I mean, for starters, how'd you know my name? Oh, knock it off. This is getting old. I don't care if it's getting ancient. This is important. I don't know you, but you seem to know me. The only explanation I can think of that makes any kind of sense is that you're working with Zero. What about you? What? Are you working with Zero? Me. Why would you think that? You're too calm. You wake up trapped in some kind of twisted game and it doesn't even phase you. That hardly seems normal. Oh, come on, I could ask you the same thing. Don't change the subject. We're talking about you. Maybe you actually do know me. What? Where the hell did that come from? Look, I already told you, I've never seen you before in my life. It's a lie. Some cutscenes we didn't get. Correct. I have never seen these. That doesn't look good. That's a Remember particle it's accelerator. Just let it go. 
Our time's up. This is it. Before, well, before it ends, I wanted to tell you thanks. You know we're about to die, but you still stuck with me. So, thank you, Sigma. Goodbye. Hmm. All of that seems... Not great. And also <laughs> stuff that we haven't seen yet, which is weird. What was that? What's wrong? I, I saw... Saw what? The, the explosion. Explosion? I, I think there's a bomb somewhere in the building. I, I'm not sure, but it sounded like it was on a timer. You and I were trying to stop it, but we couldn't do anything and... And... and Whoa! Sigma! Calm down! What are you talking about? <laughs> what is it now? My head. It hurts? Yeah. You know, you said it hurt when you first woke up in the AB room, too. It didn't just hurt, it felt like it was going to explode. Are you alright? I think so. Maybe you should rest a little. Yeah, maybe I could just lay my head on your lap. <sighs> of course, I shouldn't have worried. Fine, I spent the rest of the time until the door opened in silence. The AB game was forgotten as I tried to make sense of what I'd seen. Had it been real in any way? Or was it just a hallucination? Brought on by stress, or maybe some strange drug they dosed me with while I was out? It seemed real, though. Was it a premonition? Oh. I had to stifle a bark of laughter at the thought. Hold the phone. Are all the fucking numbers on each of the rooms the same? There are numbers? Yeah. Never mind, it's a puzzle. I, I remember. I'm stupid, go ahead. Seeing the future, this wasn't some crappy sci-fi novel, this was real life. Things like that didn't happen. I was just tired. The stress of the nonary game was probably getting to me more than Phi thought. I was tired and emotional. The hallucination was strange, but really it was perfectly understandable. What if I wasn't losing it? What, what if I was fine? What if it hadn't been a hallucination? I sat there for what felt like hours, my mind running in circles. It had been a long time. Five minutes remain. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. What the hell was that? What? Do you need a translator? If you don't vote fast enough, then it'll set your vote to ally. Make sense? Or do I need to use smaller words? So if you plan to pick Ally, then you don't even really need to go into to go into the AB room. I guess not. We're already in here though. So we might as well figure out what we're gonna do. What's it gonna be, Sigma? Ally or betray? Why are you even asking? You made it pretty clear that we should choose betray. Well, I didn't say should. I just said we didn't really have a choice. That's the same thing. It's completely different. The former is an active opinion. The latter is just passive information. Whatever, you still want to betray, right? Yeah. And why'd you ask me? So we never really finished our conversation from earlier. You said that we'd be screwed if our BP dropped a 1. What do you mean by that? Is something going to happen if our BP gets to 0 or something? We die. What? If our BP drops to zero, we die. The needles in our bracelets activate. Are you sure? Yeah. How the hell do you know that? Zero never said anything about it. I don't know. I swear, I don't. I just... I know, somehow. There's just this feeling I've got. Like, that's what'll happen. Oh, come on, that again? You fed me the same line when I asked you why you... When I asked you how, why you knew my name. How can you know all these things when there's no way on Earth? Wait, did you see it? What? Did you have some sort of 
I don't know, premonition? What? What the hell are you talking about? You sounded like a crazy person the first time, too. Then you haven't. Seriously, Sigma, are you okay? I think there's something wrong with you. This was wrong. I was supposed to be acting strange, not me. Instead, here she was asking if I was okay. But what if it wasn't just her? What if I was losing it too? I groaned, my head felt awful. Like someone had thrown up my brain in a food processor and hit her puree. One minute remains. Hey, it's almost time. What are you going to pick? If you aren't going to do it, then I... No, I'm fine. I'll do it. You're going to choose Betray, right? Yeah. Don't worry about it. All right. Take it away. 30 seconds remain. I stood in front of the selection screen took a deep breath. This was <laughs> it. Ran over my options one last time. There's only one possible choice. The first time you didn't wait till the last second. Of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. I'm really upset. Ambidex gates. I don't think upset's the right word. Really, uh, confused. I think is a better word as to where the fuck the dead old woman is. As Fi and I stepped out of the A-B room, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. What the hell were you thinking? Did you hear anything I said? Yeah, I was, and I did. Then? Well, I want to believe in Alice. It's not really a rational decision. I know. Yo, what's up? Siggy! But no! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. All right. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get right. Amber Dex round the result. If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Doing the allies. So Dio gets six points. Yep. What? Uh, uh. Something feels wrong there. Something feels very, very wrong there. And what is happening? And run forward and hit the button. <laughs> what the fuck happened here, though? Here are the results. Don't, don't say right. here when you don't have a mouse on the screen to point it out. Now, here, replying to us. The numbers on our... Also, you have zero room to talk. <laughs> hey, Alice. What the hell is this? Excuse me? I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose Betray. You're bad at math. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Why? Why'd you do it? I could ask you the same question. Why did you do something as stupid as choose ally? Because we need to gain points, idiot. Have you heard of the prisoner's dilemma? The best solution is for all of us to choose ally. Oh, really? All of us, huh? Kay and Clover chose Betray too, you know. Yes. I know about the prisoner's dilemma, but everyone picking ally isn't a reasonable outcome. Just look at the results for this round. What do they tell you? You're a pretty tender-hearted guy to trust somebody you've just met. Well, maybe tender-headed would be a little more appropriate in this case. What? Oh, was that upsetting? My apologies. I'm only trying to warn you. Alice is right. You made a stupid choice, and thanks to you, our BP is down to one now. God damn it. Set my jaw and stomped away from Alice and Fi. Hands were balled them. Hands had balled themselves in the fist, my throat was tight, my eyes stopped. Why? Why had she done it? Or Dio and Luna's group, on the other hand, seemed calm, almost happy. Thank you. 
I'm so happy you chose Ally. Mm, no problem. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Dio wanted to pick Betray. What? Uh, hey! Mr. Dio told me to pick Betray <laughs> so that we could get three points. He said we could escape together. If we betrayed you, then we'd have six BP. And then, if we betrayed someone in the next round, we'd have nine. Oh, Dio, is this true? No, th that's not what happened at all. Kidding! I lied. That was a joke. Mr. Dio would never do something like that. It was a joke? Uh, yeah. Man, you, you really had me going there. <laughs> Has been evil this entire time. I really surprised you, huh? So you really were planning to choose Ally all along? Thank you. Thank you very oh. much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? Uh, yeah, exactly. So oh, I understand. It's confusing. I guess I just haven't me. had enough time to earn your trust, huh? Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Looked like there had been some sort of argument between Kay Clover and Timbioji, although whatever it was seemed to have resolved itself amicably. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely Very round seamless. two. Doesn't mean it's skippable. Fair. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Tenmioldi. Or Siggy. Oh, or maybe Fido. Or maybe everyone. <laughs> what? Is that what that sounds why? like? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. I see. Phi Sigma and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. Interesting split. Took a moment to go over everything in my head. Maybe game would continue until someone opened the number nine door. It changed. I'm yellow now. So am I. Ah, maze. Oh wait, you're a solo. I'm not that upset anymore. Me too. Hmm. Yeah! It looks like the color wasn't the only thing that changed. What do you mean? Well, it looks like our groups have changed too. I was a solo last round, but now it says pair. Wait, really? Mine still says solo. It looks like Luna and I both changed. Although I've gone from solo to pair. I'm the opposite. Mine went from pair to solo. No change here. Still a pair. I'm... The weird guy. I... Guess this must be magenta. Are you two magenta too? Uh huh. Yeah. Quark, Clover, and I are cyan. What's going on with him? I think Mr. K and I are pairs, and Miss Clover is a solo. Looks like it. When did they change? Back when the AB gates closed. This thing that happened. Flashing lights! <laughs> Why is this happening? In a few minutes wallowing in misery, figured I deserved at least a little self-pity, but even I knew that brooding and whining wasn't going to get me anywhere. Like Kay said, we needed to at least try to find another way out. So I shook my head to clear it, stood up straight, and headed off. It, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> right it there. might matter, actually. Maybe, but we it's still have the old ladies alive somewhere. Okay. Assumably. She Assumably. can't be alive, because Dio had to kill her to get his bracelet. Yeah. She cannot be alive, she's just found. better hidden. <laughs> Where the fuck is the old woman? So, oh, fuck off. This is the infirmary, oh, Sigma. huh? Alice. What's up with your face? You look like you just saw a roach. Where's the dropkick I button? Are you still angry? <laughs> I hate her. Of course. <laughs> Teetering on the brink of the abyss thanks to you. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of here like we all <gasps> And that's enough to justify screwing someone else over. 
That's not what I meant, and you know it. If I'd known for sure that you were going to choose Ally, then I would have chosen Ally too. <laughs> Easy for you to say that now. Yeah, what he said. What? Yeah. Am I such a horrible person for wanting to What the bad guy said. I have yeah, to I know get what you're talking here. about. He picked Ally. There's so many things I still want to do. Like what? Well, let's see. I want to wear lots of gorgeous clothes. I want to eat tons of me. delicious food and fall in love. You're an idiot. <laughs> Excuse me? And I was going to take your side, but after that load of horse shit, you're on your own. Ugh. Look. <laughs> Let me try this again. I'm frustrated. Everyone kick her. <laughs> but there really is something important I have to do. Which is? While she's down. Avenge my father's murder. That's what I have to do. What happened to him? Could you elaborate on that? No, I couldn't. This isn't the kind of thing I should be telling people I don't even know. Oh, but what about people you stabbed in the back? Fine, just tell me one thing. Does your father's murder have anything to do with us being trapped here? I have no idea. As to why you're here, your guess is as good as mine. But it's possible that his death is connected to my abduction. Meaning? I was on their trail. I was tracking down the people who killed him. How close were you? I can't say, but it's possible that I was getting close enough that they decided something had to be done with me. Are you a detective? Well, I wouldn't really say I'm a detective. Not a bad guess, though. Why are I you guys looking at me like that? Chest. What? So I've only just now noticed a scarab beetle on her chest. Right. In the middle of that golden whatever thing. I'd call it a hoop. You don't really have the uh, detective look. I didn't say I was a detective. Then what are you? CIA? No. Fine, well, whatever you are, you don't look like one. That's fine. In my line of work, the less I look like what I am, the better. Better I keep them guessing. Hey, what's the deal with you and Clover? What's she got to do with anything? Well, you know each other, right? I was thinking maybe you were related or work together or something. No, she has nothing to do with my work. She's just a friend that I met somewhere. Where's somewhere? In the middle of a desert. A desert? Yes, but that's an awfully long story. Wait, hold on. Why am I the only person getting the third degree? Because none of us like you. That doesn't seem fair to me. How about you guys give up a little personal information too? We'll start with you, Tenmyoji. Who are you? Just a garbage collector. Any ties to Zero? None. What's your relationship with Quark? You two know each other, right? Do I have to answer that? Well, if you really don't want to, it's not like I can force you. Oh, and I apologize, but I don't have anything to say about that subject. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you told us everything either. I see. Very well then. Dio, it's your turn. What's your profession? Well, you're probably going to think I'm full of shit, but I'm a circus ringleader. A ringleader. <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding. Nope. I'm the real deal. I lead a company of about 50 people. We travel all over the world. It was my grandfather's grandfather who founded it, but my father died at a young age. I'm a fifth generation ringleader. He's actually telling hey, that's a, lie. a lot of truth here. Isn't he fourth generation? I don't remember. Yes. One of the two, he's but fourth. still. Well, he's then. Fourth. Well, he's the fourth generation clone, which would make him the fifth yeah. generation of the person. Yes. And he said he leads a troop of 50 people. He didn't say that they didn't all look like him. They're all clones. He, he's being very honest. <laughs> he is being truthful. Just not a circus. Well, no, circus ringleader. No, that. Yep, no, I'm going to shut up. That well, makes sense. I tried to do this quadruple flip. Missed. Well, I guess he wasn't really young. He was about 40. Still, he was pretty reckless for a guy that age. Always talking about how he couldn't let the kids show him up. Guess he just took it too far. I see. You lost your father too, then. Yeah. A triple flip. What did that mean? Shabbed four times, like shot four times, blew up the wrong bomb. Come on. I don't have any damn idea how I'm connected to Zero. 
I got grabbed on the last night of one of our tour stops. I'd gone out to a couple bars and gotten shit-faced. On my way back to the caravan, this black van pulls up. Somebody grabs me and throws me inside. Before I can even get a look at them, they hit me with that gas and I'm out like a light. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the AB room. Anyway, enough about me. We still haven't heard your story, Sigma. Who are you? I told you guys the first time we met. Don't you remember? I was on my way home from school, and I got into my car, this white gas started pouring out of everywhere. Are you some kind of doctor? No, I'm still working on my degree. I'm shooting for a PhD, but I'm not quite there yet. I guess you've been working on that for quite a while, huh? Yeah, I guess I have. Can you think of anything that might connect you to any of this? Believe me, phone. I've thought about it, but I just keep drawing a blank. What about Zero? No idea. Do any of the people here look familiar to you? Nope. You're all strangers. I guess I can't really say for sure about Kay. I haven't seen his face. I suppose it's possible he's someone I know. Just who is he anyway? Until that amnesia clears up, I don't think we've got any way of knowing. Oh, come on. You know he's full so of shit. Amnesia clears up, you still dead. don't believe him? Of course not. Why? This is the biggest info dump I've had the entire game. Okay, well, Kay's a bit of a mystery, but what about some of the others? What do you mean, why? The old lady isn't dead. Again, she has to be. She has to be dead, because Kay, okay, Dio has Dio's bracelet, bracelet still the is from mark. her. Then where's the body? The uh, we don't know that part. She has to be dead, because Dio stole her bracelet. <laughs> she perhaps in a treatment room? For instance. What's she do? I think she's a student. At night, she's a waitress or a bartender or something. Hmm. Quark? Guess he probably doesn't really have a job, huh? He's still in elementary school, right? <laughs> Why is that funny? It's nothing. Just forget about it. Yeah, you're right. Boy his age would be in elementary school. You really don't know much, do you? About Quark, I mean. And if it makes you feel better, I'm sure. Well, I know a little about Luna. I got her talking when we were in the infirmary. She says she's got some sort of medical license or something. She's a nurse? It could mean she's a doctor. I don't know. She didn't say. Just going by how she looks, though, I'd guess nurse. That leaves us with Phi. She's the most mysterious to me. What does a girl like that do? You've been around her the most, Sigma. She told you anything? Look, I just don't know, all right? It's just kind of there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. Nothing in particular. You sure? Yeah. It's a real mystery, all right. I honestly know about as much as you do. So, basically nothing. I hadn't really realized it until I said it. I spent hours with her. Knew nothing about her except her name. And, you know, and I only had her word that even that was the truth. Who was she, really? The more I thought about it, the more suspicious she seemed. Ooh. Fake detective, a waitress, a garbage collector, an elementary school kid, a nurse, and a circus ringleader. Plus two total mysteries. What do we all have in common? I don't think Zero would just grab a bunch of people randomly. There's no point to talking about this. We should just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, I agree. Oh my god. I'm gonna go check on the others, then. Where do you plan on going? Ah. Uh, where the other, others should be. Island, right? We've got the crew quarters. I go ahead to the crew quarters. I see. Right. Later, bro. This is one of the first Later, times bro. that Alice and uh, Clover aren't together. Because every me. other time, Alice and Clover were in the crew quarters together. We're having such good relations with Dio. It's nice. Headed out of the infirmary. <laughs> it's not being scummy. It's weird. I don't like it. It's really not being scummy. It is really weird. I like it. It just feels wrong. Feels right. 
feels weird. <laughs> I didn't choose Betray? And then blame Quark? Oh, yeah. Sigma. Quark just finally didn't hit the button. What are you doing here? Helen. Perfect timing. You were in the crew quarters before, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Uh, Phi Alice and I went through all the rooms. Did you find anything suspicious? Like a secret door or something? If I had, you really think I wouldn't have told you? Anything else out of the ordinary, perhaps? Out of the ordinary? Uh... What's this book? Ah, oh, that's a book of meowed cats. A meowed? Sorry. Just this thing that's happened to me ever since I was a kid. Whenever I start talking about cats, I start talking like one, it doesn't really mean anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> so what's the cat like book about? Important. Oh, uh, well there's this quantum physics uh, experiment called Schrodinger's Cat. Book talks to me out it. Oh yes, I've heard about that. A cat is put in a box with a device that has a random chance to release a poison which will kill the cat. That means the cat is both alive and dead until someone opens the box. Something like that, right? Meowby? What? I, I don't really know anything about it. Just telling you what Fi told me. So it probably isn't gonna give us <laughs> Quark, any damn it. then. Quark, you're doing it too. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> God damn it. Well, what about you guys? What do you mean? You checked out the lounge of Clover and Tim Miyoji, and Quark was in the infirmary with Dio and Luna. Anything suspicious there? Well, this whole facility is pretty suspicious, but I suppose that's not what you meant. Well, the puzzles in the lounge were Lunar Eclipse themed. Lunar Eclipse? Yes. Apparently, there's supposed to be a lunar eclipse on December 31st, 2028. All the puzzles were related to that somehow. Isn't that this New Year's Eve? I suppose it is. Well, I can't say I know what year, or even what day it is, but... Clover was saying something to that effect. 31st, huh? Been knocked out at dawn on the 25th, so the 31st would be six days after that. Lunar eclipse. Lunar Eclipse. What did it have to do with any of this? Or as I might, I couldn't think of any way an eclipse could be connected to our abductions. Werewolves. What about the infirmary, Quark? Did you find anything there? Yeah, we did find something. Just one thing, though. What was it? Dio and Luna didn't tell you? No. Okay, I got it right here. Just a second. Quark reached into his pocket and pulled out what appeared to be a newspaper clipping. Where it began to tighten as I read it. Radical 6, it's real bad, yo. It makes people die. That's for real? It seems a little hard to believe. It really is some kind of pandemic, though. That sounds like a pretty big deal. Yes, it does. There hasn't been anything on the news, though. This is the first time I've even heard the term Radical 6. Quark being evasive. Was that true, though? Really the first time I'd heard it? Couldn't take the feeling that I'd heard a Radical Six somewhere before. Where? Why? If it is true, then I worry about what might be happening to the world outside. Is there a pandemic raging on the other side of these walls? Well, I don't think there's any reason for us to get all worried about it. We should just hurry up and try to find out how to get out of here. Cork has a point. If we want to know what's going on outside, the fastest way to find out is by going outside. Yeah, you're right. Good! Mr. K and I will keep searching the cabins then. What are you gonna do? I guess I'll go somewhere else. Okay. Then we will see you later. Later. Stepped out of the cabin we've been in and headed toward the small hallway. Now, where to next? There was one other place I hadn't gone. I don't like how this is confusing me. It's the name of the game. Name of the game with nine doors. Oh, now that's hey, the other Sigma. game. Can I get you a seat? Yeah, this is uh, Zero Escape. 
Oh, zero is eight. That's the series. Eight. Oh. This is Virtue's last resort or some shit. Ward. Yeah, that. Some kind of waitress? What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I just came here to check up on you guys. Why is she being all hostile? You so, can't betray anyone. It's just the lounge, huh? Bar, sofa, and three ladies. I feel like I'm in the VIP room. Can I get you a drink? Better not be underage. I turned 21 just the other day. I see. Well, I guess we could probably have a drink or two then. Unfortunately, as much fun as that sounds like, I don't think it's a very good idea. Why not? This isn't really a good time to be getting wasted. Really? It seems like this sort of thing is exactly what makes people want to drink in the first place. Hmm. You've got a point. Sigma? I'm just kidding. Besides, I've got a headache. Drinking's probably not the best plan. It hasn't gone away yet? Well, it was fine for a while, but well, I guess the bastard's back. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm sure it'll. If I just leave it alone, it'll go away in a bit. That's how it went before, anyway. Has this been happening to anyone else? What? The headaches? Huh? Now that you mention it, yeah, I did get one a bit ago. I feel fine now, though. What about you, Luna? Um, you know, I think I did have a bit of a headache earlier. Not me. No headaches here. Well... Well, what? It's hard to explain. I just feel kind of weird. Your head feels weird? No. My body feels weird. Like my whole body. You feel kind of numb? I think I've got the same thing. It's kind of like, uh... Like when you fall asleep on top of one of your arms. And then when you wake up, that arm kind of feels like it's not really yours anymore. Not just my arm, though. My whole body feels kind of numb and foreign. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like that, but... Oh, if that's what you're talking about, then yeah, I know what you mean. Really? It's kind of like my body isn't really mine. I'm sort of... floating. Like that? Yeah, Maybe exactly. it's because of the anesthetic gas. The what now? It might have looked like white smoke. The stuff they used when they abducted you. Oh yeah, right. Why did she say abduct abducted you instead of abdu abducted us? It seems us? like we were unconscious for a long time, so it must have been pretty powerful stuff. Do you think this might be some kind of side effect? Well, it could be a side effect, or it could be that it just hasn't worn off completely yet. Hmm. A voice broke the silence. Something horrible has happened. Please, you all have to come with me. What is it? I found something horrible in room two in the crew quarters. Something... horrible? Never mind. You'll understand when you see it. No, it's the old woman. It was the first end followed by me, Fi, Clover, and Luna. It said nothing, just pointed under the bed. Four of us crouched down and followed his finger. There it was. Ooh. Oh shit! No, the bomb. The hell is this? I think it's a bomb. Bomb? B -b -b bomb No way. So, thank you, Sigma. Goodbye. Of course, it was the same bomb I'd seen in my vision. And it hadn't been a hallucination. And it had actually been a premonition? I'll go find everyone else. No, there's no need for that. Quark is already bringing them back. They should arrive soon. Two. You see? Where is it? Bomb Where's three. the bomb? The sooner were the words out of Kay's mouth than the rest of our fellow captives arrived. Quark shoved the others aside and pointed at the bomb. See? There it is! Under the bed!
For several long moments, we just stared in silence. Slowly, we began to eye one another. Old suspicion suddenly reawakened. Fai finally broke the silence. Doesn't look like it has a timed detonator. There must be a remote somewhere. You're right. It'll probably use an active button or a switch of some sort, not a dead man switch. If we can get it, we should be safe as long as we don't press the button. Hmm. Who was the first person to find this? It was me. I found it while Quark and I were investigating this area. We split up to collect the rest of you. How did you know it was a bomb? I have seen it before. When? I'm not sure. Because of the amnesia? Yes. Are you kidding me? We don't even know if it's a real bomb. Are you gonna tell me you believe that guy who can't remember his own fucking name knows a bomb when he sees it? No. Kay is right. That's a bomb. I'm sure of it. How do you know? I just do, okay? You sounded pretty sure about the switch, too. How do you know all this? Let's just say it's an occupational hazard. What kind of occupation do you have? I can't tell you that. Spare me the bullshit. This isn't time for keeping secrets. Please. Just trust me. Look, I know I'm repeating myself, oh. but I'm sure that's a bomb. And it's not just any kind of bomb. It's an antimatter bomb. Antimatter? What? Wait, you mean a bomb that uses annihilation energy? Oh, you know what that is? Anyway, yes, you're right. Uh, what's Annie Hill Nation? <laughs> I would have thought you'd know. Huh? Why? Well, your name is Quark. You do know what that means, right? Yeah, Grandpa told me about it. He said it's an elementary particle, one of the smallest bits of matter, but I don't really know anything else. I see. Can you explain it to him, Tenmyoji? Me? Well, you know him best. I thought you could explain it best. Uh, let me think. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to think of a way to explain it in simple terms. You want me to do it? Yes, please. I nodded and turned the quark. Okay. To begin with, we usually refer to bits of matter as particles. But there are also these things called antiparticles. For example, an electron is a particle with a negative charge. It has a sort of opposite, which is the antiparticle called the positron. It has a positive charge instead of a negative one, like the electron. So, protons have antiprotons and neutrons have antineutrons. Antimatter is a general term that covers all the antiparticles. The thing that's interesting about antimatter is that because it's the opposite of normal matter, when they collide, they both sort of cancel each other out. When they cancel each other out, though, it releases a whole bunch of energy. That process is called annihilation. So, an antimatter bomb is a bomb that uses annihilation energy. Um, sorry. I don't really get it. Oh. All right, how about this? You've got men and women, right? They're kind of like complete opposites. What happens when you put them together? Um, well, if there were, uh, quantum men and women, then when you put them together, they disappear. Because their opposite elements cancel each other out. Like when a plus cancels out a minus, you get zero. That's annihilation. But when you get annihilation, you also get... I know! A baby! <laughs> exactly. In this case, the baby you get is the energy from the annihilation. It's not a real baby, of course, but like a baby, it's got all sorts of potential to do amazing things. That's kind of a strange explanation. You followed it, though, right? Yeah! Yeah, but that thing under the bed isn't going to be making a baby. Just how big of a... Uh, just how big of an explosion are we going to get here? It's pretty simple, actually. Just use Einstein's E equals MC squared. The mass lost during annihilation will be converted to energy, so... So you would take the total mass of matter and antimatter and multiply it by the speed of light squared. That should get you the amount of energy. For example, let's say that it has 350 milligrams of antimatter. Why do I feel like I'm in a lecture? That would mean there would also be 350 milligrams of matter, right? <laughs> So you have this 700 is real milligrams science total. That I've had yes. to learn. That means annihilation would reasons. produce. I've also learned this shit a long time ago. 
63 trillion joules. That's about as much energy as the Hiroshima bomb. Okay. What the? You've got to be kidding me. But there's only 350 milligrams of stuff in there. Well, technically it's 700 milligrams since you have the matter and the antimatter. That's not the point. We're talking about something that weighs less than a gram being equal to a bomb that weighed like 10,000 pounds. Don't get so excited. I think I know what kind of bomb this is. It's probably using antihydrogen. There should only be about 25 micrograms of material in there. That's less than a thousandth of a gram. So you'd only get about 45 billion joules of energy, right? None of this is important information. What does that mean? That was some very quick math. About as much explosive power as I one ton of head. TNT. Uh, what does that mean? A ton? Yes. Well, approximately. And how exactly should I not worry about that? That's enough to blow up a 10-story building! Okay, thank you. True. But it's a lot less powerful than an atomic bomb. I'm gonna kick you out the fucking pressure door. We don't know how big this place is. If we can get far enough away from the bomb, we might have a chance of survival. Perhaps, but... Let your lungs expand. How do we know this is the only bomb? What do you mean? Look at it carefully. It's labeled three. It's got a number three. Do you see it? Yeah, you're right. If the bombs are numbered... And there could be a number two bomb or one bomb out there, huh? Yes. There's no way to know if this is the final bomb either. There could be a fourth, or a fifth, or... Currently there are four bombs. Anyway, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We should move it. Somewhere. You step forward and reach for the bomb. No! Don't touch it! I grabbed Dio by the wrist and jerked him away from the bed. What the hell do you think you're doing? Have you got a death wish or something? This bomb is here because somebody planted it. Do you really think they didn't rig it to go off if some idiot tried to move it? Well, then what the fuck are we supposed to do? We'll just have to leave it be for now until we can find the detonator or figure out how to turn it off. And you're telling us we should just prance off and ignore the incredibly deadly bomb that is probably going to kill us all? There's not much else we can do. Do you know how to turn it off? Well, there is a way. Then spill the beans, lady. How do we turn the damn thing off? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. So we just need to get this password. Yes, that's right. But there's no keyboard or anything on the bomb. Look again. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. Who would do something like this? I have no idea. But we can figure out when they did it. But yeah. When you and I searched this room, we didn't find anything, right? So that means the bomb must have been planted after we'd left. We left, huh? But when we went and checked the chromatic doors, we were all there. After that, we've all been around other people. The old fucking woman. No way anyone could have snuck off the plant. I don't know <laughs> about going that. going to put the bomb right here. <laughs> <laughs> in the 40 minutes, we were locked in the AB rooms. The fucking old woman planted a bomb. After we finished the AB game, we all split up. But if someone planted it right before then... Incorrect, that bitch planted four! Oh, yeah. You don't know, do you? Before we went off to the three rooms, we searched the hallway. Everybody was all split up. Huh. Yeah, anyone could have come by here then. It would have been easy to sneak away. You know, I don't remember seeing you around, Sigma. What were you doing? <laughs> well, I was, uh, just, uh, I was just kind of even thought, I guess, I stayed behind in the warehouse when you guys went off. Hey, what are you giving me that look for? You don't think I planted it, do you? I never said that. Not out loud, you didn't. You gotta be kidding me. I don't know anything about this bomb. Really? Are you sure? 
Back when we were in the AB room, you said you saw the moment when the bomb exploded. That was... just... just... bye. <laughs> Not supposed to see these things. I can hardly say premonition. They didn't... they didn't think it was the worst lie on the planet. They think I was insane. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. According to Fumioji, any one of us could have been in here. Why am I the only one who's under suspicion? Also, also, there's no way to know the culprit here is actually one of us. Maybe there's someone else in here and they set up the... Impossible. Why? There's no way that would get past Zero. And there's no way Zero would let anybody do something that would get in the way of the game going forward. Um... What? When you say Zero, you mean the AI, right? Of course. This is confusing. From now on, let's refer to the real Zero, the one behind all of this, as Zero Senior, which would, of course, make the AI Zero Junior. Okay, fine with me. Anyway, whichever one it is, they're not going to let a tenth person in. There's no way. But what if the tenth person is Zero Senior? I don't think it could be. Why not? Well, Zero Junior said so. He said that the real Zero was one of us. Why and Clover were right. Couldn't be a tenth guest. And Zero Senior was without a doubt one of us. If that was the case, then could Zero Senior have planted the bomb? Incorrect. If not, then who had? Alice? Eo? Luna? Hey? Clover? And Miyoji. Bye? Or seemed insane, but could it have been Quark? Does have those pockets yes. on his hat? Why wouldn't he have gone to all the trouble of setting a bomb to make this game more exciting? To make it seem more dangerous? No, it didn't fit. If that was the case, and the person who planted the bomb was someone other than Zero Senior. Oh no! This is bad! What is it? Press the buttons on your bracelet! Oh shit. Is this for real? We've only got four minutes until the chromatic doors open! Let's go then. You're right. This bomb thing is gonna have to wait until Friend. later. Alright, come on everybody. If only we had a sense of scale for how big these rooms and hallways actually were. Well, go all out sprint for four minutes straight and see how far you go. That isn't what's happening here though. And do keep in mind, it took K three minutes to get from the warehouse into the crew quarters. Which is literally took, right uh, next to each other. It took us four minutes to get from warehouse A to warehouse B. That's a that's throughout the entire fucking thing though. But it took I know, him three to saying. get the next doorway. So the time transfer thing is completely fucking irrelevant Chromatic because it's so goddamn open. inconsistent. Also, K is extremely uh, fast. Yes, yeah. It's mentioned like four times in the series. Uh huh. That just strengthens my argument. The doors have opened. We need to figure out who's going where and fast. Uh, so our option this time are, uh... We don't have time to wait for you to figure it out. Just pay attention. I'm only gonna say this once. I laid out our options. Option A. Luna Ow. and I pair up with Clover to open the green door. No. And Miyoji and Dio pair up with Alice. A and Clover. Option B. Luna and I pair up with Fi to open the red door. And Miyoji and Dio pair up with Clover to open the blue door. K and Quark pair up with Alice to open the green door. You can see Luna and I pair up with Alice to open the blue door. And Miyoji and Dio pair up with Fly to open the green door. K and Quark pair up with Clover. Pairing up with Alice is how we die. <laughs> okay, how are we gonna do this? We need a system here, or we'll never have time to argue it out. Why don't we let the people who are at the most disadvantage right now decide? The most what? The people who only have one BP. Oh, so me, you, and Tim Miyoji. No way! I refuse! What? Well, what would you suggest? We'll be fair and take a vote. A vote. To 
we all just like raise our hands for the option we want. Exactly. So which one do you want, Alice? Option C. I want to go with Sigma and Luna. Can we kill Alice? Ah, oh, yeah. pick something else. My, my. Looks like you're not so fond of me anymore. Never was. Do you agree with him, Luna? I'll just let Sigma decide. Fine. I'd like option C, too. Clover and I were a pair for the first round, so I feel that I can trust her. What about you, Quark? That's fine with me. So that's three votes for option C, counting mine. How about the rest of you? I'd like to pair up with Sigma and Luna, too. So option B, then. I'd like to go with Phi. Give it that, Luna? Um, sure. I really don't mind. Now we've got three votes for option B. I'd like to go with option A. I'm gonna pair up with Alice. You're a strange duck. Hmm. How about you, Tenmyoji? I don't mind going with option A. One oh, look. Remains it's a three split. Chromatic doors closed. The two votes for A, three votes for B and C. If Clover's vote doesn't decide this thing, we're gonna have to figure something else out. Which one do you want, Clover? I... um... I wanna go with option C. Mark chose Ally in the first round, and I was with Kay in the first round. Then that's what we're doing. Option C had won four votes. We were almost out of time, I didn't exactly have a convincing argument. I'm gonna have to go with the majority. Ten seconds remain. Nine, eight, seven. The doors are closing. Oh. Let's go. Come on, Luna, hurry up. We've gotta get. We've gotta get to the blue door. Right. Luna, Alice, and I dashed toward a blue door. Disgusting. I looked over my shoulder in time to see the others disappearing into the forest. Ah, oh, damn it! I had to voice two people. Had ended up with the red door. <laughs> and Phi, Dio, and Timmyoji had gone to the green door. Two, one, zero. Chromatic. You, you realize that if we pick Ally, she's gonna kill us, right? Gotta do it. I know, but she's gonna kill us. <laughs> then we will she's take our shoe and bludgeon her to death as our last act of defiance. I wish. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe it's a puzzle Alliance. we've already done, and then we won't have to do it now. Uh, it's either rec oh, room or garden. garden. It's gonna be the garden. Three doors here. It looks like they're all locked, though. Does that mean this is just a dead end? I hate. Well, there's a weird lever thing over here. Try pulling it. How about you try pulling it, and you turn away from the microphone? Hey, what's with all this hostility? Are you still mad about the last AB game? Yes. Also, stop belching in front of me. <laughs> of course I, I am. I will get closer. We need to work together, or we're really going to be in trouble. Please. If she's dead, she had no allies. I mean, <laughs> uh, Very well. to the garden, so maybe there's some carnivorous plants we can just. Okay? Accidentally. Just kick her toward the chompers. Too. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> See if I care. And it's the gardens. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. One of the doors opened. But only one. I wonder how you open the other ones. Who cares? Oh, the lever again! Stupid people! Speaking of, I think Luna's a mortician. Maybe. Potentially, but it doesn't fit because she knows how Small to use a thing that water. was. Drown the bitch! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> Don't tell me we somehow managed to get outside. I doubt it. Look up. There's a ceiling up there. Yeah, I remember the door said bee garden or something. It's a bee garden. It probably stands for something. Bio. Maybe beautiful? Botanical? No. This feels like a whole other little world. Like an oasis in the middle of all this metal. I feel kind of weird saying this, considering it's, it looks like are. a biosphere, so this it's a bio garden so or a botanical garden. Like you said. All of this green. It's wonderful. It's huge, though. We'll wear ourselves ragged trying to search the whole thing. This must be the exit. <laughs> so much for this being easy. It's locked. We should split up and look around. Agreed. Well, let's get to it then. <laughs>